Howdy friends, welcome back. This is episode number 34. We have uh, retrieved the second drone and defeated the architect. And we are now once again stuck on a rock. Once we get over this rock, we will be able to start heading towards our mysterious contact, find out who they are, and hopefully they will be able to help us assault the giant cat fortress nearby. There's a little remnant place there. Alright, buckle up. Here we go. Alright. Not the most stylish descent in the world, but it'll do. And I guess we're just driving out to this giant oil field or whatever it is. Can I go down there? Well, not much of a choice. Here we go. Alright, we seem to be okay. Press on dooms. The mayor's idea. Because we have to press on. Politicians. Always helpful. Hmm. Oh, so I guess these are ours then? I thought they were cat structures. Maybe not. Well, I was going to look at that one to see what's going on. And actually, I do see some unfriendlies nearby. But, uh, since our destination's right here... Our friend was calling from a cat bunker? We don't know he's a friend. So they are Ket then. Okay, so the fields are named the Press On Dunes. But the machines are Ket structures. Well, enemy of my enemy, apparently. Well, well. Glad you decided to show. Is your handiwork? Absa fucking lootly. Name's Bane Masani. Ket hunting's a hobby of mine. We should start a club. <laughs> Eos is the perfect spot for it. Planet's a cat magnet. I've been tracking them down, marking locations to target. You took out the crown jewel, but the bastards still have a presence here. You want to protect that shiny new outpost? You better wipe them out. I'll do whatever I can to keep Prodromo safe. Glad to hear it. Sending nav points to your Omni tool. Eventually we'll want to hit the crown jewel, their main base. But I don't think you're ready for that yet. I thought he just said I took out the crown jewel already. Which I was about to question, but... Alright. I mean, we did just defeat the architect, so I feel like my character would be feeling a little cocky at the moment. I'm ready. It's your funeral. I can't stop you from being stupid. Happy hunting, Pathfinder. You obviously weren't a cat hunter back in the Milky Way. No, I worked in the private security sector. Pay was good, but the job bored me. A buddy of mine told me about the initiative. Thought it'd be a hell of an adventure. Bring any family with you? <laughs> hell no. My mom died when I was a kid. Never met my father. Heard he was a big-time merc. All I know is he gave me his name and nothing else. You didn't come to Eos with Bradley's team. No, I'm one of Tan's scary exiles. Left the Nexus after the uprising. Been planet hopping ever since, hunting Ket. Not sure anyone likes the Ket, but you really seem to hate them. What can I say? They're ugly. And I'm a man about aesthetics. Mm hmm. Why did you join the uprising? Didn't like how they played God, deciding who woke up when. So I played Mutineer, and things didn't pan out. I went my own way. You didn't want to stay with the other exiles? Honestly, most exiles are arseholes, and not the lovable kind. Why do you think the cat are drawn to Eos? In my experience, they go wherever those weird-ass structures are. No idea why. I gave up questioning the damn things. Better to just put a bullet in their head. Stay safe, Masani. That's the goal. I wonder what he's scanning over there. Like, he's been in this building a while. You think he would have already scanned it pretty thoroughly? And now it's our turn to scan. Ket Core Encryption Tech. Alright. Can we take his stuff? Does he mind? Probably not. Not exactly, uh, 
doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is a video game. Yeah, nice balcony he has here. All right, well, looks like we have a few uh, structures nearby. If we destroy the barracks and the power generator, I guess that'll weaken their fortress enough for us to try a frontal assault. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's go grab that drone. Where's the nomad? There it is. Although, that generator he mentioned is right next door. That's where those unfriendlies apparently were. And there they are. Speak of the devils. Cue the loud music. So I did do a little bit of research on biotic builds. Um, now you definitely can make a very powerful melee, in fact really an overpowered melee vanguard type build. But I don't think I'm going to do that for two reasons. One, well three reasons I guess. One, I kind of just want to do a ranged build. That's sort of how I envisioned this character. I also envisioned him with more shields. Come on. There they go. Um, secondly, because I've heard of a lot of people making builds like that, so I kind of want to be a little bit different and not just do the build that every Biotic user is doing. And thirdly, apparently, depending on how you gear them and trait them, the uh, melee Biotic builds can be a little overpowered to the point that the game becomes a little bit trivial. And I want things to be easy, but not quite that easy. So I think I'm going to stick with more of a pure biotic build. And it did seem like the abilities I chose are actually pretty good. I don't know about the upgrades, I didn't really compare them. But people did seem to recommend singularity, push and pull. I probably just need to get a little better. Oh, I'm not actually in cover. I probably just need to get a little better using the right ones at the right time. Try Singularity. And they just dodged it. Well, that was a failure. In fact, I think I'm out of range to really do much of anything. So let's see if we can get a little closer. That might have been a fail. That worked a little better. I hear it. One more somewhere. I'm gonna switch guns for a second. There he is. All right, maybe two more or three. We're being shot at, but I'm not sure from where. Don't see any more red on the radar. Let's get some health back. Some Ket alloy loot. Can I scan these? Does not look like it. Play audio log. I am Invictor, follow my lead. Their fortifications will not last long. We have tested everything else. Release the queen with this site too. By your order, Invictor. Is that the cat leader here? That's what they follow? Still didn't really understand much of what he said. But I assume that's the guy that's been talking to us over the radio. I thought I heard him say release the creature or something like that. Could be wrong. Watch my back. These can't hey. be the only generators the cat brought. Given the large cat presence on Eos, I would agree, Pathfinder. We'll just keep shutting them down as we find them. Sounds like a plan. 
So it does look like you uh, don't need to do everything on a planet to hit 100%, because, for example, there are still two forward stations we haven't gotten, and either one of those will put us at 100%. Which I guess makes sense. It would be a, kind of a big coincidence if, you, if all the things we could do happen to make it 100% viable. There's a nice uh, weapon mod. I'll look into that later. Let's grab some fluorite while we're here. Oh, maybe the enemies are just these bugs. Cadmium? Yeah. I think there's another bug over here. Some remains. Yeah, there it is. Another mod? Where'd it go? I just saw it. Did one of the girls kill it already? Maybe. Alright. Pretty good on ammo. Oh, there it is. And now there's more enemies, but all right. Regardless, our job here is done. We can head back to the Nomad. And uh, I suppose our next destination will be that drone we saw nearby. And is that another one? That's a mineral, okay. So, what's this? Destroy the barracks? Yeah, let's... Uh, I do want to assault the base, but I might hold off on that and make this little loop first. So let's start by doing that. Hopefully it won't take too long. Knock on wood, or knock on sand, I guess. Okay, a little forward and to the right. So it's showing where all the remaining drones are, so it's kind of hard to tell which one is the post one. There it is. I think I saw it over yonder. And a bunch of cat to go with it. Oh, that guy has shields. That guy doesn't. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Whoa, that was a good combo. Some teamwork there. Watch out behind you. Yeah, I see. Destined. I think Phoebe's down. Yep. Oh, that's not good. And I'm going to be down too in a second. Yep, there I go. Alright, just got a little too out in the open there. Let's give that another try. Probably should have just used the Nomad as cover since that's really the only uh, the only cover that's not... Oh, we're all the way back here? Oh, I didn't even destroy the power generator. That's annoying. I figured it would autosave whenever we weren't... Well, maybe we weren't ever out of combat due to those bugs. Not really sure. All right, well... Sorry for the repeat, but... Gotta do it again, it looks like. And I guess all those kids are back alive. Joy. Let's do this. Oh, they're behind me. Jump, 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 jump. I'm gonna die again. Come on. Yeah, I see him. All right, let's get some shields back. Crap, that's not good. I have no shields, and they can see me. I'm gonna try to get really far away. Hopefully get some shields back, and then eventually we'll find a health back. All right, that was really close. Actually, my health is, I guess your health regenerates up to a point, and then you need a health pack after that. Crap, I hate these guys. I know I used a lot of abilities there, but I did not want him to kill me before my shields got back. He's using a smoke thing. I guess he's like stealth right now. Is that what's going on? That guy's not. 
There he is. Alright, got him. Let's get some shields back up. Yeah, I'm not really in cover right now. He went flying. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Man, I hate the cat. Yeah, you and me both. Nice Almost died to them twice in one episode. And there's still time yet. There's some health. Alright, play this again. Release the fiend? Is that the camp leader here? That's what they follow. She seems like shocked. Sounds like just another cat to me. Did he say his name was Victor or his title was Victor? Still enemies around, but I assume those are just the bugs. Still. Going to be cautious just in case. Given the large cat presence on ears, I would agree, Pathfinder. We'll just keep shutting them down as we find them. Level 15. Alright, there's that fluorite again. And we're still in combat with something, but... A couple of somethings, actually. Where's the nomad over on the other side? See it on my radar. I guess it's over that smoke. Oh, I see it. Okay. Let's grab some more ammo and then we'll make a run for it. Let's go ahead and make this our quest for now. And is there an autosave? Oh, it won't let me save because I'm in combat. Okay. I suppose it automatically autosaves that whenever you're not in combat. Always wanted to toss a rock, these cat turbine things. We'll clear the cat off the ears for good. The cat just have to make their mark. Heads up, looks like a cat construct. Here they come. They've got some range over there too. Don't think that's going to do anything. Hey, it did. Of course, at this distance, I'm not very accurate. Not very accurate. They are pretty smart though, taking cover. Let's see if I can get them out. Nope, flew right past them. Get a little closer. <laughs> Trying to get a better position. So these rocks are the only source of cover I saw coming in. Don't have any sniper rifles. And I don't want to waste ammo all day. I pull them out. I destroyed some cover. I mean, I could charge to that guy right there. Once I'm there, it'll be really easy for them to surround me. That's what I'm worried about. They have a very good tactical position. Alright, there's some closer rocks over on this side. There are a lot of cats, though. Those guys, I hate those guys. the rifle for a bit. Get 
The only bad thing about push is that it takes him farther away and makes him harder to hit. Still plenty more out there. And close to us by the looks of it. Whoa. Oh, sneaky. Okay, gotta get to cover. Shield's getting back up. PB's covering me. I think that took care of him, but there's another one coming around here. Let's pull him out. I want to kill this guy and then get back to cover because somebody's firing at me and I'm not quite sure where they're firing from. That guy. Got some heavy weapons by the looks of it. These guys both have shields, which makes them a little more dangerous. Almost got his shields down. There we go. That guy's getting a little brave. Oh, grenade! Jeez, I just saw that just in time. Well, I don't know if I did. I think I still got hit by it pretty bad. His shield's getting back up. No, you don't. Alright, that should do some damage to him. Don't know if it killed him, but it definitely hurt. Yeah. Alright, I think that got him. Yeah, a little low on ammo again. Try singularity on that guy. And a combo. Alright. Is that all of them? Nope. At least one more. And he's over there. And that fall should kill him. Got them all. Alright, nice. So I assume it auto-saved then. Might not be a safe assumption, but I don't really want to worry about that right now. What is that? A melee weapon? That could be useful. I wonder if that increases my uh, my weight, though, because I know that decreases your recharge time as a biotic. Container. Shield capacitors. Scan that thing. Explosive materials. So shooting them might have uh, damaged the cat nearby. Same with that. Okay, where's the drone though? Drone is forward and to the left. Now it's forward and to the right. There's some remains over here. See, I don't know which one I'm looking for. Like on the little radar. Alright, straight ahead. So it's the larger one there. Supposedly, oh, is it way up on that hill there? It looks kind of like a drone. I feel very vulnerable being way out here in the open, but at least my radar does not show any cut around. So I guess I probably should have driven the uh, Nomad here. In fact, I probably could have avoided the cut entirely and gone straight to the drone. Yep, here it is. All right, we'll scan it. And then we'll summon a little fixer thing. And three drones down, halfway there. 
Now the trouble is I gotta run all the way back to the Nomad. Yeah, it's still quicker than going to the next forward point though. And at least I can do this all the way instead of having to actually run. It is nice that the radar tells you where the Nomad is too, because otherwise that would make this a lot more difficult. Yeah, things on Eos. What is that? Is that a cat? Or a creature? That's a creature. Not to say it was moving. Should we fight it? A lot of creatures. Might give, like, looter XP. Maybe that's what he was talking about when like, he said release the fiend. Did I ever restock my ammo? I don't think I did. This could be bad, then. Because it seems to be heavily armored. Um... Crap. Nope, I did not. Where's that cat compound? Up the hill here? There's got to be some ammo in here somewhere. Squad mate is down? Great. Maybe I should not have provoked that fiend. Seriously, the cat have to have ammo somewhere. Can I climb this? Yeah. Doesn't matter too much. I don't care if he's vulnerable, I need to get ammo. Because we are also vulnerable. Maybe there isn't any ammo around here. Should I just go back to the... Where is the thing? Is he behind me? Starting to think I should just go back to the Nomad. Let's try to res PB. Since I suppose... Companions have unlimited ammo. Alright, we're all up. Yeah, I probably should not pick a fight with that thing until I had my ammo back. Well, it can follow us if it wants to, but... I'm not going to stand and fight until I, uh, am ready again. There's got to be an ammo pack here somewhere that I'm just missing, because that seems unusual otherwise. Oh well. I can't believe you're so blasé about the Asari Ark. We're stuck here with a hundred problems. We need support, experience. Oh yay. Let's get more old biddies arguing over what to do. Wait long enough, and nine times out of ten, problems fix themselves. If you won't give a damn about saving the Asari Ark, then I will. See? Problem solved. Yay, more ammo. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. 100%. And I have unlocked the Terraformer achievement. Yay. All right. Well, we can check that off the list. There's some uh, hidden caches around here. Some basic mining zones. What I really want, though, is that drone. You know, I don't think we've actually found any of those caches. Oh, okay. Let's toggle the mining computer. Pathfinder, this area can. Wrong button. Be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Okay, let's see. Let's actually try to find one of these caches. I just want to see what they look like on the map, and who knows? Maybe they'll have like really good rewards. Oop. Time to switch gears. Uh, this is going to be hard to climb. Alright, I'm just going to go around. That always seems to end up being faster. I like how it keeps saying, hold S to slow the Nomad. I don't want to slow the Nomad. I want to go faster. Uh, I see ammo. And some bugs. But not much else. So we're kind of right in between those two caches. Wonder if there's anything good here. Some health. Do we need health? Oh. 
No, I guess we don't need health since we went by that uh, forward drop point. What is that? Didn't sound friendly. Alright, well, I don't see much here. Might be a container or two somewhere, but I'm not going to spend all day searching for them. Alright, so the stash seems to be up on this hill. Oh, more mining. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals by your mining interface. Is there more? Oh. I guess that orange radius there is the mining radius. So I guess it's kind of like that old Mass Effect mini game where you can kind of you want to find the area where the iron is highest. Which seems to be about here. And then I guess by deploying it there, you get the most iron. So that's kind of a fun little mini game. I made a Venn diagram. Alright, are we near the stash? Kinda. Got them all. Don't want to fall down though, because otherwise... It might be hard to get back to the Nomad. This must be the stash here. Okay, remnant polymer, remnant decryption key. I actually get a lot of loot from this. I don't know if any of it's good loot, but... Since our item limit is 34 out of 100, three remnant cores. Um, and they can be defeated by defeating... They can be acquired by defeating remnant architects in the wild and interfacing with them. I don't know what that means, interfacing with them. Maybe that's a mechanic I haven't discovered yet. Either way, this seems like it's actually pretty good stuff. Maybe I should take all. Be looking for these. Then again, that's also something I can do off camera. So that you guys don't have to watch me run around and find these things all day. But we'll see if I feel like doing that. Uh, at the moment, I don't. So let's head up here and grab this next drone. And then we'll head back and uh, we'll probably assault the base. Next episode of the Ben Hostiles just above. Oh, okay, that's a cliff. Where's my marker? It is to my right. It's over this way. Hopefully, I can get back up over here somewhere. Yep, guess not. That's unfortunate. We can't be stuck in here forever, so I suppose we can get up this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, north into the left. You're putting your heart into finding me a sorry arc, aren't you? Sorry if that's inconvenient. I know you've got a busy day of not giving a shit. Hey, I give a shit. I give lots of shit. I just don't need to give one about the Lucinia because you do. You've got enough shit giving for a herd. Okay, thanks. Well, there's my marker. Definitely a big planet. This is like the terrace or the, uh... What's this? What was that first zone in Inquisition? Outside of Redcliffe? The Hinterlands. It's kind of like the terrace or Hinterlands of this game. A giant, massive planet near the beginning of the game. Seems like it takes half the game to explore. And again, maybe there are other massive planets in our future that we just haven't been to yet. That's just a bush. And is that our drone? Looks like it. Yeah, that's right with the scanner first. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. And that's number four.
All right, well, that's just a mining thing over there. I'm not worried about that. Um, but we do have two quests over here. And then it looks like, what's this? It's clan samples. Another supply site. We should probably investigate that at some point. And there's a drone there and a drone there. So maybe we'll attack the cat next episode. And after that, we'll kind of come around here. And we can kind of quick travel to these guys. What's this? Probably more plants or something. So it doesn't seem like there's too much more to do on this planet, which I'm kind of okay with, because we are at 100% viability and I really want to move on to Vold. But we should have enough for one and a half more episodes, maybe, depending on how big the cat base is. Anyway, I'm going to uh, end this episode here. When we come back, we will finally assault the cat stronghold. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to it, and I will see you all then.